Welcome back. In this section, we're going to cover something that may seem a little simplistic, but I absolutely think it's critical. It's freezing columns and rows. Now, again, when we look at this simplistic spreadsheet, you may not think that we need to get that complicated where we need to hide or freeze. Um, very quick tip, if you you can either use this little bar here to adjust your zoom or if control if you have a scroll button on your mouse you can hold the control button down and scroll backwards or forwards to shrink or expand your spreadsheet so in this case if we expand our spreadsheet enough and this is the maximum 400 percent you can see when we scroll over we don't get all of our data on one sheet so what I want to do is lock it so that we have visual of the data in this column, the first column, and this row. So you'll note it's the column immediately to the left and the row above our active cell, which in this case is B7. So from the view menu, select this freeze panes, and now you'll see this row is locked in. It's always there and this column is always locked in it's always there and an added feature because we're working in the spreadsheet we know who the company is we know what it's about we don't necessarily need to waste screen space showing the titles the main titles to the page so again if i'm looking at analyzing a lot of data this is a good way to visually see it quickly now you can also just freeze the top row or freeze the first column and if you want to undo it you just hit unfreeze panes and again we'll shrink back down now this split one what it does is it gives us a split screen in four now as you can see when I hover over here I get the black cross so I can actually resize this and you can see it's duplicating so I can see B7 on all four screens now over here so the side-by-side -side ones you can scroll up and down as much as you like they're locked in up and down but you can see I can scroll horizontally in the right and it doesn't impact what I see in the left and vice versa and it's great you can resize if you double click they go away or you could just hit this button again now if you do it over on the side and you hit split you'll note we only got the two if we do it here and we hit split it splits it there so you can see we can split it horizontally vertically or both just depending where we insert our cursor so thanks for joining us for the freezing columns and rows section in the next one i'm going to give you a few little navigation shortcuts